let's start the recording and let's start up this. We had done 45 puzzles so far. Like I said, the second game had 138, so I guess I'm about a third of the way through, give or take. You're hanging out here. Well, I'm glad. It's always good to have you here, Kat. A little fine, a little not fine. Yeah, no, I got you. Like, today is weird. Not really an emotional day for me or anything, but I was at the park earlier, like, sweating like crazy because it was sunny and hot, and I got home, and um, I shared a video on, like, Snapchat and a couple other places, but it started absolutely pouring. My power actually went out for, like, a good 10 seconds right before it started raining, and I was like, what is happening? But so far... We seem like we're okay. Like, it's been about an hour and a half since that, and it's not raining anymore, so... Hopefully we don't have any power failures. But yeah. Let's see. Our story so far. In the course of their afternoon-long investigation through St. Mystere, Luke and Leighton stumbled on a rumor about some mysterious happenings. The professor has a hunch that... Raymond's disappearance and these kidnappings must be connected. I don't know if it's Raymond or Ramon. I'm just going to say Raymond because that's easier for me. That's vision a little. Ma oh, that sucks. Like, I like a little bit of fog, but if it sticks around all day, I'm like, man, this just feels not fun. In the quest for further details, the intrepid pair continue their search of St. Mysterie into the night. Yeah, because I remember we were going to the, uh, yeah. We're about to go into the cafe to ask some questions. Oh, that's the- man, the cafe owner. Let's talk to this guy first. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Now, I've got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. And who knows, it might even have something to do with the case you're investigating right now. So what do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will you, brother? Um, that's all very interesting, but I do believe there's been a mistake here. I'm no detective, you see. Oh, say no more undercover and all that, yes? <laughs> very well, but I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. Us being the same trade and all, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at this puzzle. I mean, come on, Leighton, you're never going to say no to a puzzle. Don't act like it. Oh, it's only worth 10 picarats, so that means it's probably easy. Puzzle number 51, The Town Barbers. Ah, his hair! A certain town has only two barbers in it. There aren't any other towns nearby, so everyone who lives there gets their hair cut by one of these two stylists. Looking at the two fine gentlemen, which one should you go to for a haircut? Uh, I feel like this guy does this guy's hair and that's why it looks so good. But you could also do that with a mirror, right? I mean, this seems pretty cut and dry. I think this is the good barber, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go with A. I feel like I think it's a trick question. Like maybe this guy is just really bad at hair stuff. What do you guys think, A or B? Which makes more sense? I mean, that guy's got his comb in his hand, but... Yeah. I feel like... Trust your instincts? I mean, everything about this guy seems really kind of disheveled, too, but... I'll go with A. Yeah, let's see. I mean, the most... Okay, it was so obvious! I was just like... Yeah, you solved it. You did. That's right. Everyone in this village gets their hair cut by one of these two barbers. This includes the two barbers themselves. Because people don't usually cut their own hair. I mean, I cut my own hair. Thanks, Professor Layton. The stylist with the butchered haircut is probably the more skilled of the two. That's... Oh. That poor guy. Look at he, those eyes. He knows what he's in for. Go to another town. Yeah, you cut your- yeah, I figured you cut both. Oh, <laughs> you've done it! You've solved that monster of a riddle! Uh, simply astounding, even I couldn't do it! Oh, uh, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, but on a more important subject, have you heard a word from Raymond lately? <laughs> What's that you say, good sir? You want to solve more puzzles? All right, here's a gem of a tip. Go visit Granny Riddleton's shack, that's all I can say. 
My detective's instinct tells me that another case is developing as we speak. Is redoing the dye tomorrow? Oh, nice. Well, I, I, you know what? I always forget that your hair's dyed. Yesterday, I, it, it, like, when I saw the light shine off of it, I was like, oh yeah, I remember you dyed your hair. Cause it still looks nice, but I know it looks a lot nicer, like right after a fresh dye coat. Who goes to another town, the whole town left with the bad barber? I, this is true. I must take my leave now, but perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. I found a painting scrap. Yay, okay. Let's talk to this angry looking guy. Or woman, I can't tell really. I, okay. Oh there, I've never seen your mug in here before. What'll it be, pal? Oh, I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came by to inquire about a certain manner. Leighton, you know that bartenders hate it when you come asking for information without buying anything. Hmm, not here for the special then, huh? Well, what do you want to know? So I just put it up in the hair tie? Yeah, no, understandable. No one has seen or heard from Raymond, the servant at Reinhold Manor, since this afternoon. We've looked about everywhere, to no avail. Seems like he just vanished from St. Mystere. While talking with Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who said to lurk around the village. Do you, perchance, know anything about such an individual? <laughs> an old man? All right, that old rumor. So you have heard of him before. If you have any information, anything at all, please share it with us. Hmm. You're not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors about St. Mysterio to the outside world, now can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, then maybe, just maybe, I can find it in me to trust you. Well, I see you solved 30 puzzles. All right, then, here's an earful for you. I know a fellow who swears up and down that he saw a strange old geezer skitting around about town. A fellow I know is Prosciutto. Ah, uh, they all have di Crouton, Prosciutto? Uh, I guess this is, oh, his name is Crumb. I thought that was a G. Get it? Crumb? Like, Crumb? Anyway. He's a wee one, but he's got the appetite of a wolverine. Uh, do you know where we might find this prosciutto? Can't say for sure, but at this hour, well, he's probably at home snacking on something. His house is on the road that winds up north from here. Why don't you go and pace that walking icebox a visit? Oh wait, I forgot to... I haven't been in the cafe yet. Here? Here? That wall? This bottle? That bo- it's a puzzle! Professor, there's a puzzle hidden over here! Wow, I, what, where, why do I have a message from, I, <laughs> sorry, just on, on Instagram, um, I got a message from, uh, uh, a, a, a group called, uh, OnlyFans Features, and I'm like, I'm, I recorded a video of myself promoting this stream, there was nothing sexy about it, it was just me talking, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> You never know, I guess, in this world. I did get a, I did get an ad on it of Facebook about some dude cooking, and I was just like, I don't think that's what that site is primarily used for. But I mean, I could be wrong. What do I know? Okay, anyway, puzzle number 106. On the top row of the picture shown below, you have three cups. Oh, three cups of juice followed by three empty cups. Your objective is to change things around so that the cups are arranged as shown at the bottom row of the picture. Assuming that you can only move one cup at a time and that all rearrangements has to be done by hand, how many cups will you have to pick up? How many cups will I have to pick up? Um... Wait, how can you only pick up one cup at a time? What's sexy? Oh, uh, if you go on Instagram, you'll see my latest um, 
like you'll see the person who uh who who um left a comment on there and i was just like wait what um but no i just had like a short like 20 second video of me being like hey guys it's mystery monday professor layton be there but you know all these sites as soon as you put anything on there they're like ha ah! They want to be promoted by us, I guess. Okay, how many will you have to pick up? A good time. I know. Our, well, at least I'm not getting like sugar daddies <laughs> like like RC was or probably other people. Okay, so you definitely have to move that one. How many cups will you have to pick up? One, two. Actually, no. One, two. You'll just have to pick up two. Does it just have to swap that out? It's also food time. Two. I hope that I just didn't. Well, I... here's my guess. Oh no, I feel like it's they're wrong. What is it? All... I've let you down, Professor. Uh, nope, think about how many cups you really need to- Well, wow, okay. Cool. Oh wait, cause I can only like move them down one at a time, I guess? So you can only move one cup at a time and then all rearrangement had to- But how do you- Am I the only one where there's a weird brand who keeps asking for collaboration when they're at least- Yeah, no, 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 I get that a lot, Cat. Like, um, I'll get a lot of like fitness Instagrams trying to add like- they're like, promote on here, and I'm like, like, if you look on there, the first message I got from someone was about, like, promoting on some records, like, Instagram, and I'm like, there's no records in there. I just have a background that looks like an office. Also, hi, Mel, how are you doing? Okay, let's look at the hints. Okay. If it weren't against the rules for this puzzle, it'd be easy to just switch the second and fourth glasses with each other. But since you can only pick up one glass at a time, that idea is right out. Oh, okay. So then you'd have to be like, then wait. Then we can only move one cup at a time. But where would you move these cups? There's no like room. A brand that sells product. Uh, what? Yeah, you don't have any of those to shave. So now only people you follow can comment because you kept getting the same. Yeah, four to five times. Oh, I'm sorry, cat. That's really weird. Little set. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get to feeling better, Mel. You are awesome. I'm confused, though. I'm gonna get another hint. You have to move things around so that there is juice in every other glass. Surely there's a way to do this. Oh. One. <laughs> you only have to pick up. Ah! I'm so I dumb. Thought it. I thought it was. <laughs> wow. Oh, get a beard oil brand comment because there's a picture. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So you only have to pour the one glass. Why am I so, I think too hard about this. Yeah, I am confused. That's right. Pour the contents of the second cup into the fourth cup and then return it to its original position as shown above. This way, the task set before you can be completed in one move. Yeah, now the, the only ones I tend to get, like I said, are just like streamer ones, which I, I guess I kind of understand because I promote a lot of streamy stuff. But then, yeah, I'll get fitness ones and ones for like records and stuff. And I'm like, I don't actually have any records. Like, I think they're cool, but I don't collect them. Easy. Let's go find more puzzles. Well, maybe easy for you, Luke. But I did it. Okay, well... I gotta go find prosciutto. That prosciutto would be stuffing his face at his house. We found a hint coin. Oh. Oh, is this prosciutto? It's prosciutto! Wow, I'm so good at finding prosciutto. I'm gonna dig through your belongings. You had a graphic designer try to pull you as a You're like, no, that's what you do. Yeah. Well, have you had that on stream before, Zunder, where people come in and they're like, Wow, I love your stream. It's great. Would you like me to make your graphics, emotes, uh, panels, uh, such and such? And you can tell it's like a very copy-paste thing. 
And you're just like, no, I don't need that. <laughs> I, I can do it all myself. Oh, the music is really good here. Not on Twitch, on Insta. Yeah, yeah, I've had it on Twitch. The meat! The meat has a puzzle in it. Look, it's a hidden puzzle. Meat puzzle, meat puzzle! Tetrahedon, tetrahedron trial. Man, I've had, I have a lot of picker rats. Oh, what? What kind of, why did they hide a triangle in the meats? The image below is of a tetrahedron that has been disassembled so that each of its four faces lie flat. Which of the triangles should you insert in the place of the eh, so that when the tetrahedron is put together, both the red and the blue lines continue unbroken from one face to the next? Oh, it doesn't, uh, uh. Pretty sure it's this one. I'm a genius! Correct! Legend's Apprentice saves the day! Yay! I mean, it was a very easy puzzle, but still, excellent! Three-dimensional visualiz visualization is crucial to solve this puzzle. Well, I just counted the lines, actually. Uh, but C, C was the correct one. No more dogs yet. Also, hi, Andy. Done, let's go find more puzzles. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna touch that. Oh man, I wanted to find more hint coins. Hey, what do you want? Start John so I can get back to dinner. I heard from a fellow at the cafe that you witnessed a strange old man prowling about town. Could I ask you for more details, a uh, more detailed account of what you saw? Uh, okay. I think it was something like four days ago. I was on my way home from the market when I saw this creepy guy sneaking around. So I took a closer look, right? I wanted to make sure he didn't clean out the butcher before I got there. Up close, it was some spooky old guy with a huge... Sack. Wow. I yelled at him, but the geezer just bolted. I was all like, man, look at Gramps bust a move. I think that weirdo is the one who's been kidnapping people. If you gotta be out at night, watch yourself, you hear? Interesting. Well, I'll let you get back to your meat snarfing. Can't imagine cold calling design work. Yeah, well, some people are desperate. It's always fun when they, they try to target women and they're like, hey, uh, send pictures to our DMs and we'll promote you. And it's like, oh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Hey, what do you want? Oh, wait, sorry. No. Oh, so I suppose you haven't seen Raymond, the servant. Oh, of course I've seen him. He's kind of hard to miss with those huge purple lips. Wow, these people are really gunning on his giant lips. But I haven't seen him today. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm in the middle of important business here. Could you leave me alone now? Of course. Please excuse the interruption. Okay, well, bye, Prosciutto. <sighs> oh, gosh. Sorry, Professor. It's not that the investigation is boring me or anything. I'm just a little sleepy. This is true. It's gotten late. Let's report our findings to everyone at the mansion and wrap things up for the day. Oh no! Professor, look over there! Oh my gosh, is that Raymond? They... Oh! Dude, how many people does he have in his sack? How strong is that man?
Oh no, we've lost him. Yeah, I do. It's so good. Like the little cutscenes. I mean, granted, blown up like that, they don't look fantastic because they're made for you know the DS screen. But still, it's very good. Like I watched. They only have one movie. They were supposed to make another one, but apparently it got canceled before it started. But like, it's just so good. It's very good. The guy who offered himself as a coach for streaming and just said you should wear more tops. What? Wow. That's a great stream coach. You can wear whatever you want. Yeah, I, I did watch the Eternal Diva. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, it is charming. I like it a lot. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, and obviously we talked about that before, Mel, so I understand that completely, which is why I was kind of like, man, I need to like. Because just so you guys know, I already said this on the uh, Monday check-in, which is up on YouTube now. I'll actually link it to you. Um, but uh, I'm only going to be streaming on the weekends. By weekends, I mean Friday through Monday. But um, so that way I just have more time to kind of just do whatever and, you know, take care of things. Where is... And this is actually, I, I actually uh, took this video on my, um, on my phone because I was out at the park and I was like, man, I'm going to go home and then I'm going to start streaming soon and I won't feel like taking a video, so I'll take it here. So you can hear the cicadas and other nature sounds. But yeah. I play Genshin with you. Ugh. I want to play with Foe. I, I hope she gets up to level soon. Have I have birthday plans? Do you have any? The only... Solid birthday plan I have is this pool and probably making potato salad and other things and maybe playing games. Um, I did find out that I can be shirtless. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> it's not like I'm trying to find an excuse to be shirtless on stream, but honestly, if I'm hanging out in a pool, even if I'm inside the house, I think I'd rather be shirtless because it's a pool, you know? I was thinking about doing it outside in the back, but my roommate has her kid over like constantly and the last thing i need is to be trying to do a stream in the backyard and have like all kinds of interruptions so it'll be in here and i'll just use like the green screen to make like i don't know a pool party background and i'll just i'll just set it up in here like there's enough room that because it's only like a four foot wide pool it's a small one and then i'll just fill it up with a hose from the front yard but yeah nah. Well, I think it'll be one of those things where I, I, that's the main theme, and then we'll just kind of figure it out as we go along. So, but yes, I like being comfortable. So, yeah. Have you fallen? To, no, then it'll be my, it's the pool stream. Sorry. Also, inflatable hot tubs are actually not very cheap. <laughs> Otherwise, I would. Just think, that would be relaxing. But ice cold. Yeah, well, it'll be good. Yeah, inside. And, and I might, like, do some, like, workouts and stuff, too. Because you know what? It feels good to get into a pool after doing, like, a workout or something. Who knows? Maybe that'll be incentive stuff. But, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I plan on doing. Yeah. You know what? We should watch The Eternal Diva at some point. Maybe I should host my own movie night. I know I keep helping Foe out with her movie nights, but I just, I just never think about it because I'm like, man, everybody lives in like a billion different time zones or has work and stuff, so it's hard to really figure that out, but I don't know. We'll think about that. Yeah. Oh, no, we've lost him. Back to the game. Luke, you saw that too, didn't you? No doubt about it. That was Raymond. Does that mean the kidnapper killed Raymond, too? Well, I, we don't... Ah! Well, I don't think he's dead. This thing you're going to do when you get home is go to the beach. Yeah. Well, you know, like I said, I've been getting a lot more tan on my arms and everything, but... But you can see, like, the difference between arm tan and everything else, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to, like, tan the rest of me. That's... I don't know. It's going to be weird. Maybe I'll just get lotion and like rub it on the tan parts and then just lay in the sun. English be oh, well they got to be good on one side of well maybe are they just bad on your side or just all around? 
shirt shirtless sleeves yeah i'll just get some of those like rainbow sleeves and i'll just wear those and nothing else terrify the neighbors steady there luke i think we'd do well to return to the site of raymond's abduction the kidnapper may have left a clue behind you see oh rocks uh yeah that's why i didn't like the beaches in corpus christi because they're mostly rocky you have to go closer to south padra island to get nice uh sand beaches Right, lead on, Professor. Mysterious rumbling was added to your list of mysteries. Okay, whoop, hey. We need to go sweep the site of Raymond's abduction for clues. You're absolutely right, Professor. Oh, and it smells awful, oh no. Professor, look at this. <gasps> Another one of those mystery cogs. This appears to be identical to the item recovered from the crime scene at Reinhold Manor. Do you think it might help us find who's responsible for both crimes? Perhaps, at any rate, our first priority is to report our findings to Lady Dahlia. Come, Luke, back to the manor. You see your feet and say, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I want to get back to Hawaii and, uh, and, and be able to, like, hang out with my mom and sister and all that, because they have Really, really good beaches. Yeah, there's in the southern. Oh, nice. It's turned dark and Raymond still hasn't returned. Yeah, we found the clues. We, we solved it. He's been stolen by a creepy old sack man. After witnessing Raymond's abduction, the professor and Luke returned to the manor to report their findings. We have urgent news. Raymond has been abducted. What? Who? How? I must inform Madam at once. Uh, madam, something terrible has happened. So are you saying that Raymond has also been involved in some kind of foul play? Because there are sharks that you cannot... Oh, yeah. I've heard that the, the beaches are kind of murky. And part of it is because people keep... Like, they basically rustle up all of the silt and everything. So it just makes the water, like, constantly not great. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Corpus has so many jellyfish. Like, um, over by one of the beaches there is by the SS Lexington, which is like a tourist attraction. But you look off the side of that thing, and there are thousands of jellyfish just hanging around. And you're like, I don't want to get in there. Just getting rid of all the family slowly. Maybe. So she inherits, or so she can find it and keep it to herself. No, we can't be sure of that yet. However, time is of the essence. We must organize a search to locate him post-haste. Ah, Mr. Layton, what's the meaning of all this? Why do you insist on whipping the town up into a frenzy? The situation has changed recently, Inspector. We saw Raymond being abducted in town. I'm afraid you may have a serial murder case on your hands. We must rally the people of St. Mystere and organize the search. Uh, Mr. Layton, last time I checked, this was my case, not yours. It's too late to start looking tonight. We'll organize a search first thing in the morning. We've no time to debate whether or not we to wake up a few sleepy villagers. While we sit here bickering, poor Raymond may already be... Everyone, your attention, please! Oh, who's dead now? Honestly, Matthew, can't you see we're busy right now? What is it? Yeah, well, because a lot of the jellyfish are very translucent, so yeah, it's not fun. And you don't want to be near them because it's like, I feel like their sting extends quite a few meters outside their body. It's whenever you cannot see it, you can go against a rusty... Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true, Cat, and nobody wants that. My sincerest apologies, madam, but it's Raymond. He, he's returned. Wait, what? Returned, but... Ah. Uh... Yes, after the professor honored us with a visit, I went to the market to do the shopping. <laughs> Why do you ask? Just, what is going on here? There you have it, Late. Now you finally leave the detective work to the detective. 
But we saw it. We saw it happen right before our eyes. Raymond, don't you remember any of this? <sighs> That's enough, Luke. But no, he was... I must apologize, Inspector Chelmy. It was dark out, and it seems that I was mistaken in what I saw. Oh, oh no, that sucks. Now, if you'll excuse us, it's been a very long day, and I do believe we could all use a little rest. Hmm, I certainly agree. The last thing I need is some drowsy scholar creating a panic in the village. Wow, Chelmy, you're such a Chelmy, you're such a jerk. Well, good night to you all then. Do you have a puzzle for me? No matter how I try, I just can't seem to find that special someone. Tell me, Professor, what does an eligible bachelor like myself have to do to find a girl? I had an epiphany the other day. I think the reason I'm alone is because I can't solve this puzzle. Sure, blame the puzzle, Gordon. Oh, how I've tried to solve it, but no matter how many nights I spend pondering it, the answer eludes me. Please help me, Professor. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to my stuffed animals. <sighs> Gordon. Well, guys, I figured out the secret of attracting women. We have to finish puzzle number 12, make a rectangle. Hey, how are you doing, Ecstatic? You saw, yeah, there was a ton of jellyfish and like 60 people were stung. Oh, no. If we had stayed there long, you would have been 61. Wow, that's terrible. If you want to cut the piece of paper shown and diagram one into two pieces and then reassemble them to form a rectangle, all you have to do is cut the paper as shown in Diagram 2. However, in order to assemble the pieces as shown in Diagram 2, you need to flip one of the pieces over before putting them together. Where should you cut the paper if you want to turn the paper in Diagram 1, or, yeah, into a rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces? Okay, uh, we have to make a rectangle. This man's love depends on it. Luckily, you're fine after that. That's good. Yeah, because with this, you'd have to flip it. But no flippies! Without flipping either of the pieces. We just have to be able to put them together. This is going to be the problem right there. Okay, so... Bam! Actually, that's that's not it at all. Uh, that's not it either, because we'd have to... Hmm. Okay, well... We just cut that and put that there! Bam! Problem solved! That's not, that's not it either. Um, we don't want to flip the pieces. Uh, rectangle without flipping either of your two pieces. Okay. Just cut out a two. Oh, it'd be like, hey, look, I did it. It's a rectangle. But I think, yeah, I think it has to be two pieces rather than three. So it can't be there. Okay, let me see a hint. The diagram shape in the puzzle shows you diagram two isn't at all indicative of the shape you're looking for. Try to think about a totally different shape you'd like to try. Bam. But I'd still have to flip it. We have to not flip it. We gotta make a rectangle, but no flipping. Ha! No, it's too long. That would... no. Ha! Ah. No, that's not good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep making noise. Oh, gosh, this is actually... I'm trying to think. 
Man, the memo function would be really cool right now. Because it says flip, but it doesn't say anything about turning. So would I still be able to turn the piece? You got it, you think? This part has to go away though. Wait, is it this? Oh, I think it's this. Luke, here's my yeah, I was about to say, and then I saw what you said. Ha! Ah! Okay, because they said flip, but they didn't say anything about turning. Looks like I'm getting a girlfriend today. Thanks, Puzzle 12. That's right. Now that you know the answer, the puzzle seems quite simple, doesn't it? It's just the rules kind of threw me off. It said no flipping, but it didn't say anything about swapping. Yeah, like that. Oh, joy, I'm positively tingling with incitement. With that puzzle solved, I'm sure I'll find a bride in no time. Okay, well, you're welcome. I'm gonna leave now. Actually, do you have a puzzle for me? Inspector Chelmy and Madam have already retired for the night. Raymond is likely off to the cafe. You've had a very hard day, Professor. Do try to get some rest. Good night, sir. That's the real puzzle, yeah. I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw on the street. Mm, I don't know. No, I'm certain that it was Raymond. When we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. He may have lost consciousness, but how odd that he should return healthy as can be an hour later. Stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. I guess you're on mine. It's so peculiar. Plus, Raymond wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have had the same experience. Any other village would be in a panic over something like this, but Saint Mystere... Well, it's peculiar, that's all. There's something very peculiar about this whole town. Ho oh, ho! Could you say that maybe it's even a very curious village? <laughs> so many people getting stuffed into sacks, yeah. Raymond has a twin? Maybe. It's a cloning facility. That's what the tower is. Yes, in most places, one would stand. No one would stand for this, but we've seen that Saint Mystere is anything but normal. Raven's memory is added to your list of memories. Memory. Whoa, that's a lot of puzzles. 1,000 times. OTTF? What? Puzzles sent to Granny Riddleton's shack. Thanks, Weird Tower. Mm, yes, yes, don't you worry, I'll let him know. Oh, hello there, there was a phone call for you. It was from Inspector Ch- something or other. Hmm, from Inspector Chelmy. He just kept saying that it was urgent that you should meet him at the Reinhold Manor at once. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so. We won't know until we get there. Though, come Luke. Actually, wait. Let's see. Do you have a puzzle for me? There you are, Professor. Would you help a girl out? I've got something here I'd like you to look at. I made this darling sandwich for my special lunchbox, but the silly thing is too big. Can you make it fit? Oh, man. Sure, that's not the first time Professor Layton's heard that one. The puzzle is worth 20 picker rats. 
Using scraps left over from your breakfast, you've managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit neatly in the container? Uh. Oh. <laughs> eh. Clear. Wouldn't this just be like, well, actually. Yeah, just just eat it, Beatrice. Bite the bite that off. That'll be your breakfast. Okay, let's see. If I cut it like that. Wait, no, no, no. I cut it down here. And then. Hmm. Well, that, I don't know. That might be kind of weird. Because that would fit in there. I think we'd have to cut it into triangles, right? Because then... Those four would fit there, and then... Well, then, do I actually even need to cut that? One... Two... But would I need to cut three times? Oh, brain, brain, please. Cause that would be four, and that would give me all the triangles and that bit that would fit in there. But then, well, I guess it's too wide in this section. You make it, yeah, I am. That's why I'm like, how do I make? <laughs> yes! I did it! You have to cut it seven times. Eight. Uh, that's too many cuts. Oh, man. Okay, this is... Let me get a quick hand. Have you thought about turning the sandwich to get a fresh perspective on the puzzle? It may sound slightly ridiculous, but if you do it right, you might be surprised at how everything comes together. Technically, you would cut it 50 times? I mean, true. Yeah, just mush it in there. Uh, oops. Man, apparently, I can't draw sideways. Well, because the... Wait, 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 wait. Get in there. Ah! One. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. <laughs> I'm definitely getting a wife after this game. Look at all these puzzles I'm solving with my brain. That's right. This puzzle is a. S <laughs> oh, oh, it's that's. <laughs> that's a completely different answer, but fine. Well, I thought just one slice. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's the right answer in my brain. You cut the tips off and you shove them in the right spots. It's just a little different. Yeah, just take the dough. Yeah, this puzzle is a snap once you see how the sandwich's protruding edges fit together. Damn. Wow. You guys see how I fit that sandwich in there? You ready for this? Man to come to your house and make you a weird looking sandwich and fit it into your bento box? Because I can do it with only one knife cut, maybe. A finger sandwich, yeah. Oh, Professor, you're just the cleverest. Thank you for helping me figure this out. Uh, where would the simple chair go? Uh, Leighton, you get a chair. The odd sandwich is now in your puzzle index. Sandwich making stream win. There you go. I should do that, and then I could cut them into all kinds of things. Sandwiches are really easy to make. Maybe I'll make sandwiches. I could make like a picnic. <gasps> I could make like a picnic set up on my birthday. Because I'll be in the pool anyway. I mean, do you eat? It's okay if I eat in this pool, because it's literally like six inches of water. 
I don't think I'll cramp and die or whatever happens if you eat too soon after swimming. I'm not actually sure. You have a job? Wait, what is my job? Make a sandwich for everyone. Okay, I need to go. Where's Grandma Riddleton? Is she back or forward? Luke, we must head to the manor now. We mustn't keep Ex Inspector Chelmy waiting. But you're right, Professor. But I sure wish we didn't have to go talk to that old grouch again. Oh, believe me, you have to talk to that old grouch a lot. Okay, um... Yes, into the puzzle shack. Can convince you a PB&J sandwich is good? Make one for you? Well, it can be good if you have the correct amount of peanut butter and jelly. Wait, what kind of jelly do you have? Or do you have jelly right now? I mean, a PBAJ is good in a pinch. I know not everybody enjoys it, but... Man comes to your house and fits sandwich in bento box. Sounds kind of ominous. What? No. Cat, come on. You mean you don't want me to come to your place and be like, Hey, hey girl, I think you've got a puzzle that needs solving. And then I pull out a knife and cut you a perfectly square sandwich to fit in your box. And then I'm like, Catch you later, and then I'm just gone. I tip my hat at you. Tried it once and you were like, nope. Oh no. Calf jelly? What is calf jelly? I hate that. Hey, what's going on, Dixies? How are you doing? I'm not hot tub stream. It is a three ring inflatable pool that's 48 inches by nine inches. And it's blue. It's not a hot tub stream. It's a pool stream. Jelly made by... Oh, that's gross. A perfect courting flirting exercise, to be honest. Cats and mice. I mean, well, then again, I guess... I mean, honestly, if I went to Italy to visit Cat, I'd probably be like, hey, I'd make you a sandwich, but also I really want to eat all your Italian food, so get some shoes on because we're going out to eat. Which might still be equally startling, but still. Yeah, I'll be a birthday pool streamer. Yeah, it is blue. It's very blue. Pool as in the game? No! Maybe they... <laughs> Do they have floor pool? Maybe I should buy, like, those... They had, like, ring toss and other games at five below. I could get some of those. <laughs> Just have a whole weird yard set up. Inflatable tray with palm for your drinks. And I mean, this is true. I was thinking about, they have like an inflatable, um, it, it was like a, like an inflatable, like game controller, but I was like, man, that this thing might actually be bigger than the pool that I have, which would be really silly. Five cats can five fat. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. With that in mind, how many cats does it take to catch 100 mice? in 100 minutes. Uh, five cats can catch five mites. So a cat can catch a mouse in five minutes. So it's gonna take five minutes. It's gonna take five minutes. Five. How does this sound? That's right, because it doesn't matter how many cats are catching the same amount of mice, it always takes five minutes. Which seems actually like a long time. I feel like cats catch them way faster. Five cats. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. If the mouse hunt continues another five minutes, you can expect a total of ten mice to get caught. In other words, the same five cats catch ten mice in ten minutes, and twenty mice in twenty minutes. It's simply a matter of how long the five cats work. Wait, what do you mean it's lies? It's right! A hundred cats would- Because the five cats catch- it's five minutes per mouse, per cat. I don't know what's happening. A Palmer Flamingo? You don't <laughs> no, accept, you don't accept different options? Well, I'll see if I can find, I'll, I'll see what I can find, cat. Look, next time I go to Five Below, which will probably be tomorrow, actually, um, I'll take pictures of all the inflatables and I'll see what you think. Yeah, I have seen Tom and Jerry, but in Tom and Jerry, he never really catches the mouse for long. Oh. 
Solve puzzle 54. Monster? All right, Andy. Also, have you ever seen my cat? He'll probably call it <laughs> Uber Mices. Aw. Oh no, this town is in grave peril. As you read this, a fearsome monster is launching an attack on Saint Mystere. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. And aim for goodness sake, hurry. Uh... Is it that? That looks like the... That's a house. That's a tree. Oh, after playing the mouse for a minute? Oh. <laughs> that, are those the eyes? Is it him? Is he, are you a zombie or are you just drunk? Is it the cat? What the hell? At a glance, the picture appears to be filled with glowing objects that could well be eyes. But remember, there's only one ma monster attacking the village. Yeah, that's a tree. Why does the tree have eyes? It's on the- No, it's not! It's not on the moon! Wait. Oh, I- s I think it is the moon. Because that's like a claw, and that's like another claw, and then... That's like teeth. Don't tell me that that's the monster. Let's go again. The monster is huge. In fact, it's so big it could- Yep. Crap! Oh, I was right! Oh, God! Legion's Apprentice saves the day! Yep, well done! It might seem the fiend was hiding in the- It seems the fiend was hiding in the night sky. You certainly gave it what for! Dang. Well, it was the moon. The moon... Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted it. Man, <laughs> I gotta say, the, compared to the second game, some of these puzzles are really weird. Okay, it's time for OTTF. One touch to f flush? Oh, here you have a set of small paper cards. On each card is a single letter, but one of the cards is missing its letter. What letter belongs on the blank card? OTTF blank sent. Is this a word scramble? Fa tesentsis. Tennis ten tentifa floss. Wait, osteoporosis. What the fuck? You're guessing that there's some order the way the cards are lined up? You're absolutely correct. Think about what series of things could be rec re represented here. Wait. Um. Well, there's ten total. One, two, three, four, five! It's an L! That's not what I did! should do it. Yes! Another Number! Solved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's right. The letters written on the paper correspond to the first letters in the numbers one through ten in English. In any other language, it would be different. T. Burrow. T. Burrow. Layton, you get the furniture. Yeah. Okay, find a star. Uh, no, RC, you said you gotta go to bed before 2 a.m., and you know for a fact that by the time I finish streaming, it's already gonna be almost 2 a.m. Yeah, smart is on recording forever. Yeah, I am very smart. I'm gonna get a wife. I'm gonna be rich. Oh, I gotta make a star. 
A star in this, the same shape and size as the one shown on the right is hidden somewhere in this picture. Trace its outline below. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the last time there was a star was upside down. Okay, um... Oh, this is hurting my brain. Oh, no. You saw it? Oh, God. Wait, no, that's what got a tiny head. It's got to be, like, very symmetrical looking. It's not upside down? Okay. Uh, wait, no. God, uh, there's so many sh shapes. Wait. Uh, never mind, that's wrong. Oh, it's very close to where I... Oh. Uh, did I trace that up here? <laughs> I know, it's like, oh, these colors. Um, man, because all of this is very... Wait. No. Oh, 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 oh. I hope that's good enough. I think I've got it. Yay! Okay, I was like, how do they figure that out? Yes. Thank you, cat. You got it. Doesn't spotting a star earn you a free wish? I think that's got to do with the the star sky stars. Nice. Man, that was I was just like, uh. uh. Do another painting scrap. They're doing the Ace Attorney point. Oh, no. Unless. Solve Puzzle 49. 1,000 times? Puzzle 49. 20 picarettes. Oh. What on earth is this message getting at? The following is written on a piece of paper you picked up. Blank is 1,000 times blank blank. To turn this strange message into a proper sentence, all you need to do is fill the in the blank with a single letter of the alphabet. But what letter could it be? You'll need to use the same letter for all three ns. Wait, till Thursday? Oh, you mean no, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, um, is this hexadecimal? Like A is 1,000 times AA, B is 1,000 times BB. Is street smart, not school smart? I don't even think this is school smart. This is puzzle smart. Wait, let me get a hint real quick so I can... English only has 26 letters. If you try out each letter, you're bound to come across the solution eventually. A, 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 B, B, B. C, C, D, 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 E, E. It's talking about millimeters to meters. Critical thinking is the key to success. Yeah, metric system. That's right. One meter, M, really is equal to 1,000 millimeters, MM. You're school smart, but not street smart. Yay! 
I also really love M&Ms. Okay, Luke, you get the regular bookcase. Metric system for the win. Fish thief? <gasps> Can't believe it. Puzzle 53. Fish thief. This puzzle is worth 35 picarats. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime have this to say. A. Me? Oh yeah, I ate it. And it was good too. B. I saw A eat the fish right up. C. B and I didn't eat that fish. One of these three brothers is lying to you, but which one is it? Uh. <sighs> I was hoping it would be one of those ones where like one of them has like fish on their face. Who ate my fish? I bet it's C. I bet it's C, because I bet all of them ate some of the fish. And that's the only one that says that somebody didn't. You're lying, C! You're lying. Luke, here's my answer. Elementary, ha! You liar! Another puzzle solved. The liar, C. A and C split your dinner and each ate half. The answer becomes clear when you realize that if A is lying, B must be lying as well. The same thing happens when you assume that B is the liar. Therefore, the only possible answer is that C is lying, a scenario that only works if C actually did eat some of the fish. Except B just stood there and watched like a jerk. That's my fish. We did it. Television? Uh, <laughs> a gentleman doesn't watch television. Here you go, Luke. He lied, the fish wasn't good. <laughs> let's actually, let's check out our inn really quick. How, how are you guys enjoying your digs? Wait. Mm, well, it's better, but there's still much to be done. It's getting there, I suppose. Wait, why is the TV here? Well, I guess maybe there isn't. Let me, let me try something. Let me put the chair here. Well, that doesn't make any sense. What if I put the TV here? That's far too close to the TV, Layton. You're not allowed to, your TV time is over. Layton still needs a bed. <laughs> Where's the bed for Layton? Oh no. Also, let's put together more painting bits. Okay, um. No, that's not right. Mm. Mm. There's a curtain. Hmm. Oh man. Oh, a corner piece. Oh, two corner pieces. Uh, let's assume that that's there. I thought a real gentleman. Well, I I had to. It's for science. Sometimes a gentleman watches TV for science. I don't have any more corner pieces. Um, but this is. Oh 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 oh! That goes there. I can tell. It's got the. Nope. Stop. Sit down there. I need to turn you. Pointy bit. Like a. Aha! Ha, 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 ha. It's coming together. Maybe did that go there? I think that goes there. Oh, 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 it, oh, no, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, no. Oh, stop. That goes... Okay, so we're, we need a corner piece here. So this probably goes up here somewhere. And that goes around there. Maybe that goes there. I bet that goes there. Bill Nye the Science Guy, yeah. That's... Unless that... No, that wouldn't go over there. Um... Bill! 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 Yeah. I feel like that goes there. So that could go here. Okay. Okay, this is starting to look better. And then this... 
Mm, that, that's overlapping. But maybe further over. That? Oh, that doesn't fit. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Well. This, I believe, goes here. Aha! Ah, unless... Might be upside down, actually. That might go over here. Okay, because that goes... Well, I guess I'll need more pieces to really figure it out. But that definitely goes there. Oh, 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 it's coming together. I think it might be upside down. Means that would go over there and that way. Well, for now, at least I know a lot of these pieces work like that. Do I have more dog pieces? The body, the butt! The butt is there. Now I just need a ear and cranium and leg, and then I'll have a robot dog. Okay, let's check out the mystery. So we figure out the mystery. All right, I don't think we figured any mysteries. Walking in the streets of St. Mysterio at night, occasionally a thunderous rumbling fills the air. The noise is rumored to come from the tower, but no one in town seems to know the origin of the sound. Villagers claim that the noise has increased in frequency as of late. Oh yeah, I already read that one, the one about the fatigue and stuff. Raymond's memory. When Leighton and Luke finally tracked down Raymond, they were shocked to see him being kidnapped by an old man. Shortly after, thereafter, Raymond returned to the mansion with no memory of ever being abducted or stuffed into a sack. What's happened to his memory? No, yeah, I know. That's why I thought too when I saw her. I was like, Dahlia Hawthorne? Ugh. <sighs> We're in Puzzle Cottage. We did all the puzzles thus far. Let me go ahead and end this recording for now.